Right, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Shem, Rakakadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity, and salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the words of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah. I have this article that I came across this morning. Uh, done by the heal.com and it says rising number of Americans concerned about political violence and is in this new poll all right and I believe the poll was uh conducted by uh, CBS okay it says 64 percent of Americans believe the United States will see an increase in and political violence over the next few years. Well, why is that? Because Yahweh Bashar Shah has already declared and decreed the downfall of America, Babylon the Great. All right, this place was never meant to be here perpetually. All right, it was put here for a time for the punishment of the children of Israel. Okay, it says a figure that has steadily risen in recent months, according to a new CBS News. YouGov poll. It says just over half of Americans, 51%, expect an increase in political violence when the question was asked in January 2021. 57% said the same in December, meaning the new poll marks the first time that more than 6 in 10 Americans expressed an increased expectation of political violence, which is nothing more than biblical prophecy. Okay? Now I want to play this video regarding this. All right? There's a prosecution of Donald Trump for mishandling classified information. After the Clinton debacle, which you presided over and did a hell of a good job, there'll be riots in the streets. There will be riots in the streets. That was Senator Lindsey Graham essentially uh, posing a threat to the DOJ for its investigation into Donald Trump, who we now know had literally hundreds of classified documents in his Mar-a-Lago residence, which he had, of course, taken home with him from the White House. Now, that breaks the law. That's why he's being investigated. He was given ample opportunity to cooperate with the investigation so the raid wouldn't even need to happen. But he doesn't comply, and so the chickens have come home to roost. And, of course, after Lindsey Graham uh, issued that threat, it was followed by Donald Trump doing what Donald Trump does best, post on social media. And so he posts on his uh, Truth Social platform to say uh, that he is supportive of this effort to uh, not only threaten the country, but to rile people up to the point where they might do yet another riot on behalf of Donald Trump. Hmm. Now, Trump also had uh, posted about the FBI. He's trying to instigate some infighting and a possible internal coup within the FBI. But before I get to that, Jenk, I wanted to give you an opportunity to weigh in. All good news, man. All good news. Okay, as the Lord said, he's not coming to bring peace. Let's get that. The Lord is not coming to bring peace, man. No. The Lord is coming to bring a sword. All right. And that's fitting for these devils to be taken out by devils, man. Okay. This is the book of Matthew. Let's make this red letter. Chapter 10. And verse 34, it says, Think not that I've come to send peace on earth. See that? Y'all I didn't come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword and a sword divides. And that's on all levels. All right. In the households. All right. Uh, among party lines. Okay. Among uh, racial lines. Why? Because we were never meant to be together, man. The Lord divided everything. He had everybody set in their own portion. All right? What is that? Uh, an example of the Tower of Babel. All right? Well, that's what America do. It heaps under itself all nations. 
and all peoples. Okay? And in turn, the Lord is, is dividing this place, man. Okay? This is the book of Ezekiel. And, and I find myself reading this more and more. Because the times that we're coming to are turbulent times. It's not going to get any better. It's not going to all of a sudden, you know, you're going to see Build Back Better and, and, and America coming out of the, the, the destitute that it is. No, man. This place is done. Okay? This is Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 5. Thus saith the Lord power and evil and only evil Behold is coming. Yeah, behold means to look. All right, the Lord is telling us, look, there's nothing but evil coming to this place, America, Babylon, the great. Prepare yourself. All right, get your mind right. Verse 6, an end is come. The end is come. It walks for thee. Right, it's already prophesied. All right, it's already declared and decreed. We just got to get there. It says, behold, which means again to look, it is come. All right. This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 15. Hey, man, this, this, this is beautiful to have this understanding. All right. To know the plans and purposes of Yahweh Bashar Rashad. Okay. Because these people don't understand what's going on. They're going to be caught out there. All right. Just like we came out of the day of Tommy yesterday, you had Jake. All right. Buying fucking barbecue and stuff in their face and you know not even considering the times that we're in well guess what they're happy here in america all right they're content with the status quo and the lord is going to destroy you for that man scripture say all that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword right so this is second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 14 woe to the world and them that dwell therein yeah you making america your bow all right you, 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 you constantly uh, subscribing to Esau's way of thinking, right? It says, for the sword and their destruction draw of none. See, it's close, man. All right, how do we know that? It's by the prophecies. They pushing that MOTB. It's like, it's like a, 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 a infomercial or commercial every fucking week. Last week it was the Tesla, right? Week before that, it was uh, they were pushing the kids. All right, trying to get you uh, initiated in that. A couple weeks before that, it was the CHIPS Act. All right, so guess what? It's near, man. It says, and one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands. What's the modern day sword? The gun. All right. It says, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. You had Trump, <laughs> where it said in that uh, video, he was trying to do a coup, right, with the with the FBI. But what do you think that's about, man? That's about division. You see? It says, and they they shall not regard their kings nor princes. Yeah, you you uh you uh police chiefs, you mayors, <clears throat> Democrat or <clears throat> excuse me, Democrat or Republican. Right? They're not going to regard their kings or princes. Right? And the course of their action shall stand in their power. Right? And that's ultimately what, what Esau wants. He wants order out of chaos. But little do we know, that's your how about Shah Shah setting up the chaos. All right? So he can bring the true order. All right? Wherein a, a, a kingdom wherein righteousness dwell, man. It says, A man shall desire to go into a city. And shall not be able to these lockdowns, right? For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled. See that? And the houses shall be destroyed. And the and men shall be afraid. See that? So we're, we're coming to the culmination, all right, or the wrapping up of this kingdom, all right? This wicked-ass kingdom, America, Babylon the Great, man. It says, a man shall have pit, have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So it's going to uh, also be the famine that contributes to this, uh, 
to this sedition, man. Okay? This is Isaiah. The book of Isaiah, chapter 19, and verse 2. It says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Now, you have an unlearned person say, let's set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. That's not Americans against the Americans. Well, guess what? America is known as the land of our captivity, all right, the house of bondage, all right, which is represented uh, by Deuteronomy 28 and 68, uh, also Joel 3 and 19, all right, where the Lord mentions Edom and Egypt in the same breath. Oh, also Revelations 11. Okay, so these Egyptians that we're speaking of in Isaiah 19 is a prophetic scripture letting us know that these devils are going to be divided. It says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother and every one against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. Did we just read that in this poll or this article? All right. It says what? Rising number of Americans concerned about political violence, right? Poe. Let's see if we get a little bit more out of this, okay? Because I read a story where, um, where armed <laughs> guys went up to the FBI in uh, Arizona, man, and they was ready to lay down. They was ready to put in work, man, right? Now, it says just 10% of respondents and the newest uh, iteration of the poll said they expected a decrease, just 10% expected a decrease. See, it says nothing good is coming here to America, man. Evil and only evil. It says said they expected a decrease in political violence in the next few years, while 26% said they didn't expect the level to change. It says the increasing trend comes in months following the January 6, 2021 Capitol riot in which hundreds of people stormed the building to contest President Biden victory in the Electoral College. Beyond the Capitol riot, threats of political violence, see that? Threats of a political violence have become somewhat a somewhat regular occurrence on fraught national issues. See that? It's becoming a regular occurrence. They're not uh, regarding the kings or princes, man. Okay? And we're going to read this last one, then we're going to get the scripture, and we're going to close it out. Okay? It says, A man was arrested outside Justice Brett Kavanaugh's home in June in days leading up to the Supreme Court's overturning of Ray Roe versus Wade, right? That abortion shit. It says threats against the federal law enforcement, threats against federal law enforcement, see that, have increased in recent weeks after the FBI searched former President Trump's Florida home, see? And Lord, whether or not I put this article in the description box, it looks like a pretty good read. Okay, but I don't want to make this too long. This is the book of Mark, chapter 3 and uh, 24. Start at, yeah, let's start at 24. It says, and if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand simply. That's, that's simple, right? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand, right? It can't stand. Why? Because the Lord has laid a deadly wound, all right, on America, Babylon, the great. Well, it can't be healed. It says, and if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but have an end. You see that? He has an end. And we're witnessing the end of this empire, man. All right? Esau has had a long run, but it's coming to the end. It says, no man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods 
except he will first bind the strong man and then will he spoil his house. See that? And then will he spoil his house. Where's your house about shout shot binding this strong man? Real quick. Psalms, the book of Psalms, chapter 60, and verse 9. Who will bring me into the strong city? Yeah, what is this strong city? America, Babylon, the great man. Who will lead me into Edom? See that? Where's your how about Shah Shah who's orchestrating? All right, the division of America, Babylon, the great. Back in Mark chapter 3 and verse 27. It says, no man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. So the Yahweh all right, is it, causing the division in America, all right, which is going to bring forth more prophecies, okay? That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, it's been edifying. We give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahabashah, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders, great millstone. Lord willing, coming next with another lesson. Till the next time I say Shalom, DTA, and a Bible ball soon.